Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready, except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. It's going to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. Okay. My system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. We've lost so much already. Sometimes I... You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight. I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. That might be a bumpy ride, though. 
Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you.
Shepard. Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Stopping us now. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. Impressive. The 
central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. first team in this area. Good. Let's take a moment to regroup. Fire! 
Edie, can you get past them? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route.
Killed scores of them. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus deploys Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. I assumed they were volunteers, scared and looking for answers. This is horrible. Yes. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw what was left of you. I thought you knew. Are you all right? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. I don't know, I... I'd be surprised if it didn't unnerve you. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He was an excellent judge of character. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You did what was necessary, and now you'll take him down. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He populated the Normandy with friendly faces, so you never saw Cerberus for what it was. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Detergent team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need.
I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edith's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles, well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? 
I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retried the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, ED flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zetabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium, Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. They'll get it done. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Odina is... amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the Catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard? He should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Is that? This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. I can't believe you really fought that. 
those poor colonists. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? Perhaps he did. He certainly fooled himself into thinking this was for the best. When you work in secret, it's tempting to believe you have all the answers. You're not him. You'd never be. If it could have saved Thessia, I don't know. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source.
tried to kill me last time. It can watch all at once. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. Performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work as Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording.
This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when, the Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. 
Moved. To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome.
You ran at the Citadel. You ran on that. That was profane, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of conserving information for future species. Perhaps you will succeed where we fail. You didn't fail. You gave us a chance. And we're not done yet. 